from Sparta, New Jersey. One of the two Miller brothers we saw Dan win in his debut. In fact, Jim Miller cornered Dan's fight, and he said, you know, that helped me get rid of some of the jitters. I, I saw my brother go through the UFC experience. Now I know a bit what was expected of me coming to the UK this week. Absolutely, and you know, having a brother that also fights has got to be huge, too. We've seen that so many times with Dan and Joe Lozon, of course with Matt and Mark Hughes, and so many other fighters. Having a brother that also is going through the same experience is just, it's awesome. It, it really helps him tremendously. This guy's highly touted. I've heard a lot about Jim Miller, great fighter, a real entertaining young kid, and uh, it's nice to see him finally in the UFC. Well, Jim Miller is little brother. Dan Miller is his older brother. He submitted Rob Kimmins at UFC Fight Night last month. But these two young men, inseparable, and you talk about the competition. The competition between brothers is oftentimes the most fearsome competition that anyone has ever seen. Jim Miller against David Barron. Barron in the black trunks with the flames. In the red trunks, southpaw Jim Miller. Good leg kick. They meet. Oh, and he uses takedown. it for the takedown. Miller, the former Virginia Tech wrestler. Two on years top younger guard. than his brother Dan Joe. Good control on top. You can see right away he's got good base. Well, Barron is trying to squeeze his neck there. Joe, as you said, we heard a lot about the Miller brothers when they came to make their UFC debuts. They fought in the IFL and had great success. Miller is holding on here, and he's looking to pass. In fact, Miller's only career loss was to Frankie Edgar, fellow New Jersey fighter. Yeah, no shame in that. And then he spent some time with Henzo Gracie and the crew on the East Coast to improve his skills since that point, and that has led him to this six-fight win streak that he brings into the octagon. Real good pressure from the top by Miller. You can see he's just real good at keeping his weight on top of Barron. Uh, Barron's trying to roll over and use that leg to sweep, but he might get past here. Yeah, if he can get that leg out, Joe. All right, the shorts, the shorts. Miller's still on top. Miller's <laughs> really Mil Miller's really taking a big chance here with his balance, uh, pushing down to try to get that leg out. Yeah. Just uh, that shows he's real confident with his top game. It's really, he's going to pop that leg out. See, see how, I mean, he's really controlling well. Even there he goes. He's mounted now. It's just a tiny piece of his leg is still stuck. Jim Miller's got a great ground game. You Absolutely. You really, really see it right away. Well, it seems as, at least in this position, it may be only a matter of time until he gets it free. Barron trying to continue to hold at least half guard. He's doing a good yeah. job of it, though, Joe. Yeah, he's, he's, he's squirming a lot and holding onto that leg, but it looks like a, just like a matter of time before Bar um, Miller pops his leg out again. Now G Barron's got it in pretty deep. Jim and Dan worked construction with their father. They said basically they both got bored with just working construction, so they started jiu-jitsu together, and they find themselves both as UFC fighters. Good elbow from the bottom by Barron. Elbow from the bottom again by David Barron. Now Barron's got some distance to work. Miller, as I mentioned, is 11-1. Oh, he's got his back. He's rolling over his back here. Barron's in big trouble here. Big trouble. And he let go of that. He rolled over to try to, now he's getting mounted. He's got an arm triangle here. Barron has got to hold on to that half guard desperately. That is the only thing keeping him alive here. If Miller can get out, there he goes. He's out of the position. All Jim Miller, eight of his 11 mount. wins have there come by submission. Finally gets to the full mount. Oh, now he's trying to throw the arm the down. Yeah. Almost had it, Joe. Now he's oh, got the back. back. Yeah, D both hooks. And Barron doing a good job of turning towards the choke. Trying to get that body triangle, is he, Joe? Well, you know, some guys don't like to do that. Some guys just like to use the, the body hooks. Miller has a, you know, he's got such a solid ground game. It depends. Like something, Marcelo Garcia, probably best jiu-jitsu player in the world, doesn't do it. Barron. Knee to the belly here. Barron, look out for the leg. Barron rolling over. Oh. Big left and right to side, side control. control. 
Good job by Barron to get him back to his feet, though. David Barron looking for, for the toss. Goes for a judo throw, but gives up his back. In that hip toss attempt, he gave up his back here, and he can't do that. Judo black belt, David Barron. <laughs> that is what a lot of people believe to be the problem with a lot of judo, is that in, you know, in attempting some of those wild throws, you give up your back. That's why even a lot of judo players actually prefer wrestling takedowns to uh, some of the judo throws. If they work, you know, it's great. But if it doesn't work, you know, when you go for a hip toss and you turn your body, you, you, you're basically giving your back to a guy. He's got the hooks in again. Yeah, now he's got, now the, body he's got the body triangle. And here's Corny yelled out 30 seconds. And that's the key right here. It's going to be tough to finish off Barron. Barron is obviously a, a wily veteran. The way he avoided the, uh, the back earlier, the way he avoided that choke. Oh, that's under the chin, though. That's bad. Ten seconds remains in the round. He's, he's and you hear his corner yelling. Seven seconds. He's turning away from it. I think he's going to be okay, Joe. Yeah, he's going to be he's okay. He's going to make it. Oh, yeah. Miller and Barron set for round number two. Kurt Pellegrino, Frankie Edgar, the Miller brothers, of course, Ricardo Almeida, Mike Masenzio, all fighters from the Garden State, doing very well in the UFC. Miller quickly took this fight down to the ground in round one. Let's see what Barron does here in round two. Barron is punching with his hands really low. Head straight up in the air and his hands completely down. Good leg kick by Miller. The knee. Yeah, hey, look at that right hand. Switching stances. Let's see if Barron can take advantage of it. Caught him. That is not your traditional place to hold your hands, Joe. Yeah, Barron's got a weird style. And Miller gets him down. And Miller inside control. Miller has had advantageous positions throughout this fight. He had the mount. In round one, as well as side control, and Joe, you mentioned he's got oh, side control nice. here. On the way up, catches a knee. Nice reversal there from being caught in side control. That's real hard to do to a guy. Especially a guy with good balance like Miller has. Good punch by Barron. And another. And Miller gets a takedown, and Barron rolls over. Very nice. Great athleticism by David Barron. Trying to latch on. Barron made a, a mistake there in not having control of the body but holding onto the head. And Miller rolling to a guillotine attempt. How explosive and quick was that transition? Great transition. It looks like he's going for a Darce choke here. What he wants to do, Mike, is get his right arm. Oh, he's got a hold of the chin. No, nope, let it go. Talked about some of the fine brother combinations. The Hughes brothers, the Sarah brothers, the Lozons, the Shamrocks, and of course the Diaz brothers. Yeah, there you go. Nate and Nick. Another great brother combination. Now the Millers trying to oh, make their own name in the good UFC. Right hand by Miller. And it puts him right into half guard. So he's halfway to trying to get full control again. And he's got it. Very nice. But he loses the that. right leg. Barron's wily. Barron is definitely wily. 16 fights in his mixed martial arts career. Miller's pin pinning that arm down again. He keeps holding onto it. I don't know if he's looking for a triangle or perhaps uh, to control it and get an Americana. You see how he's uh, got his right knee and he keeps pushing his right knee up towards that arm? Yeah. <laughs> that could be... Uh, he's definitely controlling. He's still, but, but Barron is doing a real good job of just holding a little piece of that leg. It doesn't seem like much, but it's huge. That Just holding on to that little piece of that leg controls Miller's right leg and keeps him from doing a lot of things. He's got it Oh, out. it's out now. And that's because Barron made uh, an, an attempt to get to a better position, and he had to take a chance there. Now Miller's high mounting on him. Yep, he he's may gonna, take his back for the second time in the yeah, match. He's got great control on him here, too. Good he's elbow. Gonna, that opened him up. That cut him. That elbow cut David Barron. 140, 
And Barron's holding on to Miller's arm, but that's really not doing him any good there. He's got a leg caught again, half guard. Yeah, he's, he's a crafty dude. He's real tough to finish. And he's not going to give up either. Yeah, let's see if he can flatten him out. Well, he flattened himself out here, it looks like. <laughs> but he's rolling. And now, okay. Miller, very crafty as well. Stays on his back. You hear his corner. He's cut. Follow up with some elbows. Just about a minute remains in round two. Full back. One minute, Jamie. One minute. Now uh, Barron's going to turn into him. And Barron. Barron's on top here. Barron, the Shudo European champion. 14 wins in his mixed martial arts career. There you go. Barron's on top now. So and Barron able to survive once again, Joe. Yeah, we'll see Miller's guard. He's, He's pressed up against the cage, though. He's bleeding big time now. Looks like he's got a cut he's on the top of the head. Rubber guard himself here. As well as the cut on the forehead. Triangle. 20 seconds yeah. remain. Triangle here. Yep, let it go. Jimmy Miller right it's, in front of his corner. It's real hard for him to get this off because his, his head is smushed up against the cage right here. 10 seconds. It's a great place to be. It's looking for an arm triangle from the bottom. If you're Jim Miller, it's a great place to be when your corner's telling you you only got to hold on for 10 seconds. And he does. Jim Miller said he and his brother are just two New Jersey kids who like to fight. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of dudes who like to fight in New Jersey, but a lot of them don't know how. <laughs> they still fight, though, these anyway, guys, don't they? These guys know how to fight. That's the difference. <laughs> Third and final round. Red trunks for Miller. The black with the flames for David Barron. Will Miller look to take it down again? Nice leg. And that one really Miller. landed. And he switches stances right away to Barron. And Barron throws a kick, and again, Miller gets him down and into side control immediately. That has happened more than once in this matchup. Now, this is early in the round. Let's see if Miller can put a stamp on it and finish off Barron here. Immediately goes to Mount. And that's not a good sign for Barron because he's been able to stop that in the past. But this time, Miller just sliced right through him and instantly he's got his back with both hooks in. And he's kind of on the side now here, not quite got in the back because Barron is trying to turn out of it. He doesn't want to give up his back, but Miller's got some good control here. Well, Joe, you said Barron is definitely a wily vet and he's avoided some very bad situations. Be interesting to see if he can do it for another four minutes. Well, when a guy's got your back and you turn, and uh, you, you turn towards your stomach the, the, way, the way he did there and, and try to get it towards his mount. What he does is he grabs a hold of one of Miller's legs and then the hook all of a sudden becomes a, a little bit of a half guard. Good elbow. A, a little bit more control for Barron, a little bit more defense. But Miller is riding that back hard. He's, he's staying on it. See, as Barron turns towards him, then the hooks that were holding his body in place, Barron uses that one leg and it becomes like a, a little bit of a half guard, but Miller's got full mount now. Can he finish David Barron? Well, he was looking for an arm triangle from the bottom uh, at the end of that round, and I see it open uh, uh, from the top, especially with that uh, right arm, or excuse me, yeah, the right arm of David Barron. Well, as you mentioned, right off the top of this matchup, Joe, Jim Miller continues to press, and he keeps good pressure on his opponent in his ground game. He's got a body triangle now from the top. If he flattens David Barron out, he can finish him just with this. When you have a guy flattened out, face first on the ground, and you have that body triangle on, you put pr tremendous pressure, tremendous pressure on his back and on his organs. It's very painful. Ivan Salivary tapped out Tony Fricklin with that. I, again, now, now he's going for the choke again. Now he's pounding. Yep, got the hooks in now. Joe lost the body triangle. Barron is not giving up, though. Barron keeps, keeps battling it out. Two minutes and ten seconds remains in the matchup. Lightweight fight. David Barron from Paris, France. Jim Miller from Whippany, New Jersey. 
Baron is uh, showing a lot of resilience here. He's he's doing a, a real good job of avoiding submissions, but uh, he's you know done nothing to win the fight. Joe, I said to Jim Miller earlier today, I said. All right, now he's got it under the neck. He's Can got he it deep, it here? Mike. That's deep. That's it. It is all over. We couldn't tell from this angle, Mike, but it looked like what he did was he controlled one arm so that he couldn't defend it and then sunk the choke in. Got it right underneath the neck. All right, you see here, Mike, he controlled that left arm of David Barron's with his left leg, and that was how he was able to sink the choke in. Barron was unable to defend it with that left arm. He only had one arm to defend the choke. Miller slid it underneath the neck and got the tap. So Miller is the winner, and he wins by rear naked choke. Jim Miller successful in his UFC debut. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 19 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke, Jim Miller!